and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Trundle and Dur. This is going to be a crazy one here. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing Championless Endure. You know, it's, it's going to be like They Who Endure, like you, I'm sure you've seen They Who Endure with like Callista as, a as like the only champion, but we're not playing Callista. So we're just going through regular They Who Endure with no champions, except I'm playing one Trundle in here. So for Freljord cards, we're only going to have the three They Who Endure, because we're going to be playing Wraithcaller. So the only, only Freljord cards are going to be the three They Who Endure and then just one Trundle, because whenever we pair against our opponent in ranked, they're going to see Shadow Isles and Freljord, and they're going to see Trundle on the art, and so then they're going to think that we're just playing a ramp deck, right? Like, they're going to think that we're playing, like, Trundle Ramp, maybe, like, Revitalizing Roar, Ledros, like that version of Trundle Ramp, and so they're going to be um, mulliganing, looking for cards that are good against ramp, and thinking that we're going to be playing turn three Weirding Stones and Avalanche and all that kind of stuff, and we're going to instead play all this cool They Who Endure and just fool our opponent. So that's basically what we're doing. So I'm I'm taking Callista out of the They Who Endure deck, even though Callista's pretty awesome, just for the um, just for the equity of my opponent mulliganing poorly, because <laughs> they're not gonna they're gonna think that we're playing something that we're not. And uh, so then to make up for the Callistas. You know, we were playing one Trundle. We're going to play a Rasa. Rasa seems pretty sweet, especially in this metagame with a bunch of people playing big threats, like where, um, you know, we have one of our things die, then we play Rasa and we kill like a Trundle and, uh, you know, something else with, you know, a Weirding Stones or something like that. Like there are only two things. We'll try that card out. We'll see how that does. Um, but yeah, that's our deck. All right, let's go play over in ranked. We'll play our five games. If Rasa doesn't work out, maybe we'll just play a third Atrocity. That's another option. Um, there's really nothing wrong with three Atrocities. Maybe we should just be going that way. All right, playing against some Scouts. So Scouts, this isn't a deck that it, that it will really affect because Scouts is just going to be looking for the fastest possible hand that they can have. And so that doesn't really matter you know, if, like, doesn't really matter what, what we have. It really affects more of, like, your slower decks, like your um, mid-range control decks that are, uh, you know, that have good cards against aggro and good cards against control. But when you're just, like, a linear deck like Scouts, it's not going to really affect them. I could have waited till turn turn two to play Hapless Aristocrat and then also un then I'd have Unspeakable Horror Nightfall. I guess turn two. Now we get Curse Keeper. So that worked out. Uh, no, I I do not know. Um, no, I don't, I don't know about like streaming with tournament games and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know about any kind of rules with that or anything. Alright, so they'll give that tough. So that's just trading one drop for one drop, right? Like they'll, um, yeah, kill both of those. But that's just me trading my one mana card for their one mana Rangers Resolve. So that's not too bad. There you are. Alright, Blighted Caretaker. I don't want to see another. Cool. I don't want to see another Rangers resolve. So now I'll just use Unspeakable Horror to try to kill this thing. I'll just do that right now while we have the Nightfall turned on. And while we know they don't have Rangers resolve. But they've been pretty surprised. Fortunately, this turn isn't Nothing going to be a good turn. I guess I'm just not going to get a Nightfall card from this. Ah, they just drew Ranger's Resolve. That's too bad. Scouting ahead.
Still heart, steady aim. We're trying our KDA sleeves first time, or card card backs first time trying those card backs. The Quinn's blinding assault. All right, what we got? Wraith collar. I'm still going blighted caretaker. Yeah. Soil. Show them what we're made of. Alright, so that puts them down to two. And Atrocity should probably finish this game. I would think. They would need like single combat to stop that from happening. They're probably not a single combat deck, right? It could be. I'm just gonna be going for it. All right, GGs. Want to know? So far, surprise factor has worked. All right, so another ramp deck. So like, so like this kind of deck, like they're probably mulliganing their avalanches, right? Like you don't want avalanche in the mirror, so they don't want avalanche. So they're gonna mulligan their avalanches, while, um, well, we'll have like this aggressive start. But of course, I am streaming, so sometimes people tune into the stream. That just happens. You never know. That's an egg. Damn, yeah, Bailey. I must get out of here. So next turn, I could have Bark Beast plus Glimpse Beyond to grow Bark Beast. I'm hoping they don't have the one damage things, so I'm hoping they mulligan those away. Cool. I'm playing they who Endur or I'm playing the Wraith Wraith Caller first. I know they could play Trundle. All right. Well. One, two, three, four, four. Well, we're gonna play this stuff to get the most damage. Because no, we're they who endure, so even if they like play Trundle and our stuff dies, we don't really care that much. Round five, they have eight mana. That's a lot of mana. My blade grows restless. Does Neverglade attack? I think it does. You don't stand a chance. Go down to one. So you set up Doom Beast. You can see, see, like, look at their hand. They had like turn three ramp, turn four they had the double ramp. Right, and then turn five they had Trindamir. This is turn six now with Vengeance. You can see all they had was like Ramp, Trindamir, Vengeance. They were, um, you know, ready for the, the Ramp Mirror that they were trying to ramp a whole bunch. That's not what we were coming with. We were coming with They Who Endure. They need removal, not Ramp. And GG's. Our deck is working. All right, another another deck where they're same thing probably. They're probably gonna mulligan their avalanches and withering whales, 
and stuff like that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Turn to attack for 10. Heck oh, it's just it's just a trundle deck. Ah, they have a blocker. That's too bad. Alright, you can you can trade. With that. Take your seven. Light the signal fire. Just a trundle deck. Um. <laughs> Light the signal fires. They are not ramping. I repeat, not ramping. <laughs> That's what that sentry was saying. Down to three. Never mind. We're gonna have a little bit more life. Let's get rid of their weirding stones so they don't get to play Anivia this next turn. Down to ten. Now we'll have our, our one trundle. <laughs> In our deck. Like, see, we're a trundle deck. We have all of one trundle. Considering going Ravenous Butcher on the Bark Beast, just get a 3 2. So, like, Withering, so Withering Whale is not as good against us. Yeah, it does seem like they're setting up Withering Whale, doesn't it? Oh right, it's not nightfall. It's got to be nightfall to get the plus. Dang, I should have played the aristocrat first. Oh well, it's only it would have just been a three five instead of a two five. But that one point of damage may be good. Yep, and there's the withering whale. That's why I didn't want to play aristocrat first. Did it move? All right, GGS, another another person shocked. All right, three and O. Oh. All right. So the uh, this is where it doesn't really, again. This is where it doesn't really affect us. The aggro decks, it's, they're just gonna have like their great aggro hand either way. Um, I could keep glimpse beyond to sacrifice curse keeper. That's a little slow. I we're we have the attack token turn three. I really want to find blighted caretaker. So I mulligan those because ideally we have blighted caretaker on three. That's what we really really want. Not good. I'd rather I'd rather have um, a glimpse beyond over like any of these other cards right here. Yeah, this this is not good. Or ravenous butcher. But we still have one more draw. Blighty caretaker on top. Nothing. Yeah, this would be a great blighty caretaker on top if it's there. Please, I have connections. All right, come on, Blighty Caretaker. Mm. Nope. All right, so I guess I'm playing Doom Beast with no Nightfall. Worst case scenario is obviously Misfortune. If they don't break, they'll burn. Don't mess. What are you doing? You messing? would have been great to have Caretaker on three. That would have been 
Spectacular. Dangerous waters. We missed. Bless is motion. Turn me to the sea. I will be free. I'm a little surprised by that attack. That attack doesn't seem very good. Like, why not just attack with all six at, the, at one time? Now we got to you know, do, like, double blocks and stuff. I don't know why, like, all six just didn't attack. They've certainly drawn poorly. Should have just kept a Glimpse Beyond. I've gotten very punished for not keeping Glimpse Beyond. <clears throat> Double Curse Keeper. Okay. There's a Glimpse Beyond. Finally. Um. So we're down to four. Those are two good cards. Unspeakable Horror stops Noxion Fervor. And then, obviously, um, Caretaker is going to be good for next turn. I want them to no go Noxion Fervor. Go ahead. No, I don't I don't regret not being... Like, I think this game, like, if, if we would have had, like, the Caretaker as one of, the, like, those first two, three drops, this game would have been a whole lot different. Everyone's a garden. You still maybe get there. No, I want to get this thing out of here. But it, like, if we did this on turn turn three, I think we would have won this game. What's that you got there? You poor thing. Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me. So not leveled up. War Mason, reporting for duty. All right. So if now if they have fervor, we lose. That's just how it is. Darn. One more mana. One more mana. Yeah, that, that scout attack turn was, was pretty poor. Yeah, that's true. They would have already killed me if they would have done that scout attack turn. Playing against the ramp mirror. Yet again. Guess I just mulligan all of it. For our ones and twos. Ugh. Curse keeper, please. Yuck. bad. Finally. Finally. But probably way too slow. Where are you? Probably way too slow. Alright. 
The trolls are going to war! But yeah, we were probably too slow here, but we'll just have to see. Never know, maybe... Maybe Blighted Caretaker can do some work. Never know. So they will be able to play um, Ice Pillar here if they want. Obviously they could have just Ice Quake, which I couldn't beat, but I can't I can't really play around anything. Or hopefully do 10 damage to them, put them down to three. And we have Atrocity. Come on, just take it. Ooh, they took it. Now play an eight mana card. Um, Trindamir. Cast Trindamir. Or Ruination. No, not Catalyst. Kills the Nexus. Welcome to Yuck. the Tipsy Had five things died for this year so far. There you are. Okay, so now we've had eight things die, so now they who endure is gonna be a nine nine. Too much overwhelm damage to survive. Because yeah, they get they also get to pull something with the trundle. We almost got there. Their hand was great though. Like honestly, without feel the rush, like I, I thought that we were gonna be winning this. Um, well, I guess wait, we can still this can still survive. Okay, so we're not dead, right? Then we block, block, and then we're at two. Okay, so we're not dead. We could go to one and kill their 3-3. Three, three. I guess there is a difference between two and one with Unspeakable Horror. No, 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 no. I guess Unspeakable Horror stops my atrocity, though. Yeah, our hand was quite bad. Hey, what's up, Viper? But their hand doesn't, you know, doesn't get a whole lot better than what they had. I was thinking about, you know, we could we could also let it happen and then go Rasa, but that doesn't really work because they'd get the one one spider. Yeah, we have to risk it. Smashing. One smack will do. We're still like one point off. Here, if we top deck another atrocity. Which we talked about, like, maybe Rasa should be Atrocity. Um, certainly a possibility. I think I need two blockers over one, but obviously with these overwhelms. We were really close to killing them. If we didn't have such a bad hand, and they didn't ramp into feel the rush so so quickly, because you know they had turn three ramp, they had the turn four, they had the double ramp card, um, and so then turn six they were casting feel the rush. 
you know, like that's that's as good as they can do, right? Like you can't cast Field of Rush earlier than turn six, and that's what they did. They cast it on six, um, right? Or did they cast it on seven? Maybe they cast it on seven. I don't remember. I have to go back and see, but um, I think our deck worked. I think it worked really well for the most part. You know. Some of those games we didn't have. I guess like we really did rely on having Hapless Aristocrat, Warden's Prey, Cursed Keeper, the first two turns, and uh, you know like when it, we saw there that last game when we couldn't find those, our hand was really slow. Um, so maybe the like the Rasa is too much. So maybe the Rasa needs to be a third atrocity. Or maybe between Rasa and Neverglade Collector, maybe we need another Hapless Aristocrat in here. Just give it like the full nine copies of these these cards or i guess bark beast also i guess that's another one so we'd have so we had 11 cards there that we need in the first two turns hmm because even like stalking shadows on turn two like stalking shadows should find like one of these one drops but doesn't always all right but anyway those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there feel free to leave those comments let me know what you think about this crazy one um you know and and uh you know yeah let me know how it, it goes if you try it out yourself if you get to surprise some opponents uh, hopefully you do, and um, yeah, they're not expecting um, all this stuff for your trundle deck. <laughs> all right. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.